But right now at here at 5 o'clock, I want you to pay attention to this word, Lakimbi. Here's why it's important. The FDA just recently gave full approval of Lakimbi to treat early onset of Alzheimer's. It may not sound like a big deal, but that's something that one out of three of us will likely have one day. All new for you here at 5 o'clock, our Robbie Owen spent some time talking with North Texans who were involved in the clinical trials of this potential medical breakthrough. In a family of unapologetic alpha personalities, Gail Youngdale was not known as a fighter. My mother died with Alzheimer's, and then my children started saying, Mother, you're doing the same things. Until life came swinging. Well, you have mild cognitive impairment. And I said, well, I don't like that, but what's the next step? And she said, Alzheimer's. I didn't like that. So <laughs> prayed and prayed a little bit more and found Kerwin. And a Lakimbi clinical trial. What I tell patients is that the diagnosis today is very different than when I would give the diagnosis 5, 10, 20 years ago because it is going to change the course of the disease. Dallas doctor Diana Kerwin is the founder of Kerwin Medical, a Lakimbi clinical study site responsible for enrolling participants, safety, and data collection. She calls the drug a game changer because it slows the progression of the disease. It is a big breakthrough. It's a big movement for the all for patients with Alzheimer's disease. And also, like I said, the science is going to move very fast now and furious. So every day is going to be more and more hopeful for our patients that we're going to make a big difference. Daily, I'm more calm and my brain is more clear. And I wasn't laughing and having a good time back then, but I do hear. I never knew she was a fighter. But now, so to say that I'm proud of her, like I said, there's just no words for it. And the gratitude is even more personal. Terry also has the Alzheimer's gene, but. I know I'm not going to end up in that bed like my grandmother. I know I'm not going to forget to speak. I know I'm not going to forget to breathe or eat or swallow. And that's in stage Alzheimer's. I think it's going to be life-changing you know, for so many families. I was just going to say so many families, so many individuals, now they have a new source of hope, right? That's because right. like the doctor said, it's not the same diagnosis that it was five, ten years ago. That's so, right. um, you know, again, uh, something to look forward to for, or something that folks can look at uh, maybe using in the future. Yeah, we're excited for those families.